What's going on, guys? How are you all doing? Uh, looks like we got the Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga official trailer, and a gameplay reveal, which I'm pretty excited for. I haven't watched them yet, because I'm like, ah, I gotta react to it. Won't be authentic unless I do it on stream, right? So, uh... Let's wait for a few people to roll in, maybe like a minute or so, and then we'll get started here. I got some, I got some cool transitions coming for you guys. So like uh, this one that you guys saw. <laughs> oh, I don't have the green screen up. Whatever, you get the point. And then uh, there's uh, this angle. And then there's the, uh, eh, you'll, you'll see. There's another one coming. There's a, there's, there's a few more where I like go to a planet and we go to the headquarters. You'll see. Also got this. I don't know my right from left. Also got this the other day. Uh, I built it on the gaming channel. Sub to the gaming channel down below. Let's get on with this uh, reaction here. Okay, let's do the trailer first. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. Oh, okay. Looks good. Force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Twisted by the dark side. Okay. Skywalker has become. Okay. Dude, what? That boy is our last hope. No, there is another. <laughs> From the resistance. Your sister Leia sent me. We need your help. Dude, this looks very, very polished. Looks very good. Wow, that's the actual gameplay. I'm assuming. Oh, cool. Holy crap. Is that Mace running through Coruscant? Not him, <laughs> the Falcon. Was that actually Harrison Ford? Wow. What the hell? Is that Yadel? Genosis. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. That's Sam Witwer. <laughs> wow, that looks really good. Really, really good. Ah, oh, God damn it! Spring 2021. God damn it! Why'd you have to do that to me? Why'd you have to- why'd you have to take all my dreams and... Why, let's do the gameplay reveal. Wait, is this the same thing? Why are there two of them? The Force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. Oh wait, no, this is different. Twisted. The dark side. Young Skywalker has become. Yeah, this is different. They're showing. I think they're showing more stuff in this. Or is it the exact same? Whatever. I'm down to watch it again, honestly. There is another. I'm from the resistance. Your sister Leia sent me. We need your help. Okay, I guess it's the same thing, just posted on the LEGO channel and the Star Wars channel. Dude, uh, like, this looks clean. Very clean. <laughs> I'm 
Most of the music gets you every time. Not him. The Did they get Harrison Ford for this? Either that's Young Yoda or it's Yadel. I'm gonna bet it's Yadel. I am a Jedi. Like my father before me. So be it. Jedi. You know, it's Lego. And like, all the Lego Star Wars games have had this, like, comic look, obviously. It's like a, um animated kind of look, obviously, because it's Lego. But... It's from PS5. Oh, PS5. Ooh. I'm gonna get it for PC, so um, we're gonna be doing some giveaways, 100%. I'm gonna do a bunch of giveaways for these. Maybe we'll do 10. Spring 2021, we'll do 10 winners. If you want to win, which obviously you do, type one right now. But I mean, spring—it's a bit of ways away, but uh, that's fine. We can do some May 4th uh, giveaways as well. I know it's it's far away, but um, it'll be good. It'll be fun. That was awesome. It was really good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So what I was saying is usually. There's like a, wait, what? There's a, um, a bit of like a, a cartoony look, but this one looked really clean. Looked very, very 2021, if you will. So yeah, contests going forwards, we're going to do a giveaway for Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga for any platform. Um, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to do money giveaways. I'm also going to do, um, lightsaber giveaways. So uh, if you didn't know, lightsaber giveaways go way back on this channel. As well as I'll do small prizes like the um, like the comics. I'll be giving away copies of the comics. Brand new from Amazon probably. So I just like pick a winner and then uh, put in your info and that's it. And I ship you one. Many people have won in the past. So nothing new. That was pretty cool. I liked it. That was good. You guys like the thing in the back? The arcade machine. I got another one to set up, which I'm probably going to do live on the gaming channel. It's the Ninja Turtles one. Man, this thing's a blast. My dad came over and he's like, I haven't seen one of these since the 80s. And this is from 1984. Well, at least the, the game is. So, um, it's pretty cool. It's, it's definitely cool. Christian and Brett, thanks for becoming a new member, man. I am back at it again, my man. What up? you guys like today's video how do you like that do you like when i so I'll, I'll have one regular video and then i'll put a random video from the past in there so it's like a mystery box it increases my watch time it allows me to put more ads on the video and um it gives you a free video if you like well they're all free anyways but it gives you an extra video and you know so you don't have to click off or anything like that do you like that or should i just do one video um per video and leave it at that so if you want if you want the new way which is one video and a mystery box video. Type one. If you like the old way, one video per video. Type two. Let me know. Let's see what the consensus is here. Oh, you have this arcade machine? I heard they break really easily, but um, I hope not, man. Hope not. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to put the Ninja Turtles one right next to it over there. It'll, um, don't look so empty. It'll look good. I got some more lights for you guys. <laughs> for you. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it makes everything look just a little more aesthetic. The trailer looked dope. Yeah, it looks great. I'm very excited for it. Uh, what's what's the vote here? You guys like the mystery box videos? You don't mind? Okay, well, I'll do it sometimes. Sometimes I won't. Can I watch the new Squadrons trailer, please? Sure. Yeah, I can do that. I didn't know there was anyone. Ah, four hours ago. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. Mm. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. 
As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic okay. before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Hi, I'm Suzanne Hanka, narrative producer on Star Wars Squadrons. Our single-player story is one of daring pilots and deep-seated rivalries. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. Over the course of the story, you'll fly as two pilots on opposite sides of the war. And, like all modes in Star Wars Squadrons, you'll have the option to experience every mission fully immersed in VR. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a comm through. Today, we're giving you a glimpse of an early Imperial mission behind enemy lines. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. That looks nice. Behind enemy lines, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. The outpost is defenseless. Hmm. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorne. Once Thorne is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Cover our escape and escort us to the jump point. We have Republic Corvettes inbound. Move, Titan! Gladius, change course and keep Agent Thorne safe. Titan 3, take out those fighters. Understood. I'll handle it. You have my thanks, Titan Squadron. No time to celebrate. Move on. Go, go, go! Each mission will immerse you into the escalating conflict between the New Republic and a Shattered Empire. Debrief with your squad mates between missions. You're our new wingmate. Customize and master all eight starfighters and join the galaxy's finest. I need you focused and ready to oh, go. Oh, wow. From bombing runs at the Nadiri dockyards to setting a trap in the Xavian Abyss, the story of these rival squadrons will push the war to the brink and define the galaxy for years to come. I look forward to seeing you in combat October 2nd. October 2nd. Okay, cool. It reminds me of um, all the Squadrons games I used to play when I was a little boy. Uh, there were there were a lot of those missions in... Oh, what was this one? It was Star... It was, it was not Shadows of the Empire. It was... Um, it was something else. Uh, and it wasn't Squadrons from like 1997 or something like that. It was, it was a different... I forgot what it was, but... There was one I used to play like crazy. And then, of course, there were the arcade games, which uh, <laughs> I played last night, uh, and I, I documented it on the gaming channel. From 1984, you can't go wrong. Like, it's like polygons, like lines. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's really great. I love it. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you should play Batman Arkham. Yeah, we're going to be playing that tonight on the gaming channel. So... As well as Fall Guys, which was pretty fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one was Rogue Squadron. You're right. Yeah, Rogue Squadron. That was it. I was actually playing Rogue Squadron... I think it was a couple weeks ago. On the computer here. My old computer. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. So the music they had at the end there, it really reminded me of that. It was pretty sweet. Going to 11... Movie marathon with my girlfriend. Gonna see the original trilogy and prequel trilogy in theaters for the first time. Also get to watch the sequel trilogy again. So win-win. Dude, I'm so jealous, man. I've never seen the original trilogy in theaters. I saw the prequels when they came out. It was a great time. It was a great time. Thoughts on the live-action Star Wars move to 2023? Yeah, I mean... Not surprised. What can they do? Everything's being moved, right? Yeah. So, it is what it is. What can they do, right? It's, what's the best way to contact you? I would love to do lightsaber sound design for your future videos, fan films. Oh, that's awesome of you, man. Yeah, we have, I have a guy. I have a sound guy. Um, he does a great job. Um, whenever the time comes for the fan film, when it's going to be uh, starting up production, pre-production, um, I'll, I'll announce all the info for you to contact me. 
I'll have a private email just for just for the fan film stuff. So, yeah, man. It's my favorite Star Wars character, Anakin and Qui-Gon Jinn. You saw Empire for the 40-year anniversary? Yeah, no, it's out. It's not out here, though. I didn't see anything, which sucks. I want to see it. What's being moved to 2023? So the first live-action Star Wars movie after the sequels, which was supposed to come in 2022, is now moved to 2023, supposedly. Let's... Would I want Squadrons to have prequel story? Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. You know what? I've been covering so much prequel stuff, I'm down to go with a little original trilogy. I kind of miss it. But, yeah, I would definitely love that. That'd be cool. Absolutely. Watch Sims 4, Star Wars DLC. Sims 4, Star Wars DLC. What the heck is that? I used to play Sims when I was a kid. There's a Star Wars DLC for it? What the hell? to get this <laughs> this is something I'd play on the gaming channel for sure 100% Love how they just say gibberish. Is it all sequel trilogy? Yeah, I don't know if I'll play that. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> uh, been enjoying your DVD commentary videos lately. You rock. Thanks, Adam. Uh, I slowed down on those. Seems like you guys don't really enjoy them anymore. But I've been watching them, and uh, it's been they've been really great. But um, yeah, the guys who do enjoy them, thank you so much. Glad you like them. Seems like people pick and choose on the titles, but you know all of them have such important information that you should really, really watch those over any lore video or anything because it's um, it's coming from George, man. I mean, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move on to the originals now. The original trilogy. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Who's my favorite clone? I like Rex. I like Fives. Um, I like Jesse. Fall Guys Star Wars DLC. That's what they need. That's what they need, man. I don't know if the game's big enough for Star Wars. I hope it is. Keep watching them, they're amazing. I love watching them, yeah. So, I'm gonna keep uploading them, but, you know. How do we join the Minecraft server? Uh, you get the IP. We you releasing the, the rest of the Episode 3 stuff? Yeah. So, I'm just kind of going off. I'm not in order or anything. I'm just kind of jumping. Uh, we're going Clone Wars Season 1, Clone Wars Season 6. Uh, there's no 7 yet. So bonus feature and then we're going episode five episode four uh revenge of the sith we're gonna go back to episode two cover some stuff um still a little bit from episode one as well there's a ton to cover but um i like to mix it up for you guys i don't want it to just be like dvds or lore or fan fictions or um 
You have never seen me live? Well, now you have. I get a lot of views, but I deserve more. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, th it, you know, it's interesting. Uh, Star Wars channels are interesting. Um, if you clickbait, you get a lot of views, obviously. Um, but other than that, in the slow season for Star Wars, your channel will perform like... Like, I mean, I have two and a half million subs. My channel performs like it's a 500k sub channel, right? Like when I had 500k subs and Star Wars was hot, uh, it was performing better than it does now. But when Star Wars is hot, my two and a half million sub channel performs like a literal like 10 million, 15 million sub channel. So it kind of balances out. But if you're looking to make a Star Wars channel, that's just something you should take in consideration. Because I talked to a lot of the... the the Instagrammers, the Star Wars uh, memers, the meme pages. Uh, a lot of you guys have been really cool with me. And a lot of you say that it's like super dead right now, blah, blah, blah. But eh, it'll, it'll come back. Don't worry. It's all good. It's part of the ride. You know that Mike Zero is clickbait. You know, I don't know. I don't have anything to say about Mike Zero. But there is another Star Wars YouTuber who is... Hmm. Hmm. Absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. But, anyways, let's stick it positive. Mr. Memes, what's going on? Have they played the trailer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played the trailer. It was good. I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, I liked how it's. it looks so crisp. Wait, why is this... Is Lego Star Wars Warner Brothers Games? What? Is it Warner? Is it? No, really. I didn't know that. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. We all know who it is. Uh, mm, you'd be surprised, man. It's not It's not who most of you think. <laughs> well, I, I, that guy is very clickbaity too, but there's another one who's... I find myself just rolling my eyes whenever his videos pop up. It's like, how do you get away with this? You know, how do you get away? It's just weird. It's just weird. You missed my fan theories? Yeah, I'm writing one right now. It's, uh, what if Darth Vader got the Death Star plans? And I still have all your notes. Four pages of notes from you guys that you've written, uh, or that you've, uh, written to me, that I've written down. And, uh, I'd still like to go over this book. And the New Thrawn Ascendancy book, which is really cool, because it has, obviously, the story, but they did this new thing with it where they have these nice blue pages, which are pretty sweet. Right, look pretty cool. I'm not allowed to show you guys yet. Any words? So. More DVD content? Okay, I can record that, no problem. Yeah. Well, no, you see, the thing with clickbait is... It's... Look, we're all on YouTube, we're, we're all here to get views, um, but... See, the way I started was I didn't start by trying to get views. I just, I already had a job and I was just making videos and it was fun. And then it became my job, which is amazing, you know. Thank the maker. Um, but the issue is that when you flat out lie in your th titles and thumbnails and you, you alter your titles and it's just... It's weird, and you're just spreading all this garbage and misinformation. It, it bugs me, because it's like, this is... Not only is this my passion and everything, but it's also my career. It's like, the, like you're... When I get people asking me about that topic, and it's like, I have to clear it up. It's just so... It's very frustrating. I'm so frustrated with the council. Um, because plain in sight, when those things don't happen, you just... Um, it's like, well, what the hell? Like, why are you... Why are you doing this? But...
it is what it is, and I just haven't made a peep about it because I just don't. I don't want to. Yo, what was with the Clone Wars trailer yesterday? Okay, I'm, I'm super excited about this. That's for sure. With the Clone Wars trailer yesterday, what was with that? <laughs> it's like, it's like we want, we want Mando season two. Just give him Clone Wars. But they've already seen Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. It'll be fine. <laughs> give an estimated number of the channel's sub count. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I don't. I. You know the 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 topic came up. I should have shut my mouth. I should have not said anything. But uh, that's me, I guess. It's hard to shut my mouth. Sup theory. Glad to finally catch a stream. You excited for the new Thrawn trilogy? I've read the Legends trilogy and now the new ones twice. I'm really excited. Let me tell you, man. This book is great. Absolutely great. Really great book. I met Timothy Zone. Yeah, I met him at Celebration last year. It was cool. Um, I was wearing the Admiral Attitude shirt from my merch store, and he uh, he he snapped his fingers at one of his buddies, and and I have the video. Uh, it just has no audio, and and he was like laughing, and he was just like he was like, take a look at this, and then I got a picture with him. It was cool. Nice guy. Very nice guy. Um, would you prefer KOTOR Old Republic in Clone Wars art style or a show live action? I want live action. I want live action. Either one's going to be good because whatever they do is great. But I want live action for sure, yeah. Have a great day. Keep it up. Hey, thanks, Decius. That's a sick name. Decius. Sounds like my favorite name, Maximus Decimus Meridius. AJ Sky is a new member. Thanks, man. You're happy you caught one of these? Yeah, it's kind of like turned into a, uh, into a, uh, no, no, no. It's not who you guys are. Who, it's not who you guys are commenting. Well, eh, partially, I guess, but, but no, there's, there is another, another there is. Um, what's your favorite Rex moment? Oh, gotta be season seven when he hesitated and he saved Ahsoka and he bought her some time <sighs> made me very emotional why did father erase Anakin's memory in the Clone Wars you know that's a good question I feel like he shouldn't have because then Anakin would have known exactly what his future would have become and he was already he had already turned to the dark side you know and then he turned back Bought Shatterpoint because of your vid today. Dope stuff. Awesome, dude. Awesome. There's, you know, these prequel novels, the Legends ones, are so much fun. They're Legends, but you know what? In my heart, they're canon because they were written during the time of George Lucas, which during his time came the prequels and the originals. So, look, anything after um, the sale, <coughs> sorry, the sale of Lucasfilm, I deem as Disney canon. Anything prior to that, I deem in my head as a different canon. So, and then there's the overall timeline canon, which is what is now. But, you know, those books like Revenge of the Sith novel, uh, Return of the Jedi novel, all the, all the novels from the prequels and originals, I deem those in my mind as canon because that's obviously what George signed off on uh, while he was in charge. So, you know. So that's 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 how I look at it. Yeah, if the father didn't erase Anakin's memories, his future would be very different for sure. George Lucas doesn't like the EU. Well, he signed off on a lot of it, so Look, for George Lucas, I'm pretty sure it's just episodes 1 to 6. And the Clone Wars. That's it. I'm sure that's it. Is Order 66 going to be in this game? That's a good question. I don't know. I'd imagine so. I mean, if they have all those minor events, then Order 66 is like the most pivotal in 
all of Star Wars, I'd say. So they should. Can we rely on the rumors of an Ahsoka TV show? I don't know. I wouldn't rely on rumors. Um, Smickleberry. Uh, yeah, so besides those novels that you mentioned, uh, I would say Dooku Jedi Lost. If you have not listened to the audiobook on that one, you're missing out, my friend. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. problem with the EUs, there's different timelines. Yeah, well, I mean, EU is very mixed up, but it's still cool. I was wondering if you're going to do any more watch-alongs. I really enjoyed those. Hope you have a great day. Watch-alongs as in what? The bonus DVDs? Um, yeah, what do you mean? Like, oh, oh, you mean the watch parties? Yeah, those are awesome. I love doing those. I had so much fun doing those. We did we did one to six. Should we do Rogue One next? We could do Rogue One. We do the Clone Wars. We could do we're gonna do it for Mando, that's for sure. So No, I don't think Ahsoka is hard to create live action. I think Rosario Dawson is going to do a great job. It's just going to be hard getting over the voice if it's not Ashley Eckstein. That's that's the problem. Can you become a member? I don't know. Can you? Just imagine a scene where he played as Anakin decimating younglings. What the hell? Jesus. Uh, me and Mark are going to make a game, so we're going to make a free... So, like, the fan film was free for you guys, so we're going to make a Star Wars game. So we want to make a free... No DLC crap, no... Obviously, we can't make money on it, we can't sell stuff, it's just going to be for the fans. Um, so we are in talks to make an actual Palpatine game. So, Young Palpatine, basically from the Plagueis novel. Uh, it's probably going to take a long time, probably going to cost a lot of money, but... It's just something we want to do. We love making content. I love making content. He's been in the gaming industry for decades. You know, he started out at Rockstar, and he's his connections are, are absolutely phenomenal. They're, they're the best of the best in the industry. So, um, you know, pool our money together, and we're going to just make something for you guys. I don't know when it's going to come out, but, yeah, we're going we're gonna to do something cool eventually. Wouldn't rely on rumors. Does stream of rumored Mando season two trailer? Yeah, absolutely. You're right. But I wouldn't rely on it. And if you were there, you'd know that I said a million times, hey, I, I, it's just a rumor. Look, the thing is, Charlie Spur, I'm not a source for official Star Wars news. I'm a fan just like every single one of you and a fan just like any fan, any Star Wars fan. So... Uh, what I say isn't what goes, it's just um, what I hear just like what you hear. So the only difference is I have a channel with two and a half million subs, but my thought process is the exact same. I, what I know is what you know. So, yes, and I always make sure that when they are rumors, I title it rumor. I put big fat rumor in bold in the thumbnail or in the title or I say it in the video a million times. So, yeah. Choppy toaster. Thanks, dude. Your favorite Star Wars soundtrack is A New Hope. I'm going to be having some new tracks made by Samuel Kim um, for the channel. So, I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Going to be some, some good new music coming uh, for the daily videos, which will be nice. What company will they mention it was made by? Who? What do you mean? Am 
Mike Zero annoys you. Man, I got nothing against Mike Zero. I think he's a nice guy. Uh, I'm not talking about his content. I think he's a nice dude. And um, he works. He, make, he makes like 10 videos a day, and they're all like 10, 20 minutes long. Like, that's a lot of work, man. I mean, I don't think there's much editing in there, but I mean, still, you know, he's, he's putting in the work. He enjoys what he does, I'm sure. And um, I wish him the best of luck and the best of health, man. Who am I making the game with? Oh, the company? I don't, what, it's way too early for that. I don't know. But if you don't know, it takes a lot of money to make a game, um, especially if it's big, especially if there's, uh, like, the infrastructure, like, um, like Fall Guys, for example, where it's all multiplayer. You, got, you need a big server. So what we would do is we would just have a game that's probably offline for now, just story mode, um, where you are either young Palpatine or you're playing as Plagueis. Uh, we haven't figured out yet, or both. It depends on the story, what happens. But we want to tailor it around um, the Darth Plagueis novel. And Palpatine's young, his youth and his adventures in this time as he starts to manifest his powers and, and use his powers because he always knew that they were there. Um, I'd love to have a scene in there where you, he, he actually like kills his whole family like he does in the book. It's dark, and it would be a very dark game. It wouldn't be a um, game with rainbows and sunshines. It would be, you know, a game for the Sith, a game for the young emperor of the galaxy. Nigel, what's up, man? Yo, you know who uh, who might be in the fan film? Episode two, actually, I've been talking to is um is our boy uh, William Christopher Ford, yeah, and I, I'm I'm and I talked to Sean Kanan about getting him in the fan film too, which I think would be cool. Get like two the two of the Karate Kid guys in there, that'd be so fun, man. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. Hello there, dear theory. If I want to contact with you about a private project where can i speak with you try to add you on discord too so i don't use discord anymore um you can't really contact me just through email uh which i have a representative check all that i don't deal with any of it um i'm pretty tied up with all my projects right now I, can you tell me a little bit what's what it's about while i'm here the best time to talk to me is when i'm live that's because I'm here, you know? Otherwise, I'm doing like a million different things at the same time. And that's why a lot of projects don't get finished properly. <laughs> it takes so long sometimes. What are your thoughts on the HU's performance in JFL? HU? What do you mean? What does that stand for? I'm guessing what, like the... Samuel Kim is great. He's a very talented, very talented artist. So the guy who does all my music right now is Jacob Cadmus. I'm also getting Samuel Kim. So Samuel Kim now is going to be doing some of the songs. Palp's only skill tree would be lightning. Dude, that's the thing. In the movies, they only show the lightning. But in the comics and the books, like, the guy could teleport worlds. Like, he could create black holes. I mean, he could do so many different things. Mando 2 trailer? No, I, I hope it's this week, but I mean, it's this week's already done. Maybe it'll be on the weekend. I, I don't know. It's only a month, a month or so left, right? Oh, you like the Zoom one? That's good. What would the Palpatine game be similar to? Will it deliver from other Star Wars games? Will it derive from other Star Wars games? No, it'll be an indie game. It'll be, you know, made from two guys who are just Star Wars fans and just want to give something to the community and just have some fun. Um, I think the gameplay is going to be... Um, I haven't gotten to the details yet, but what I would like for it to be is like Jedi Fallen Order mixed with Force Unleashed mixed with... Um, I would say maybe a little Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast 2, maybe a little um, uh, 
Something like that. Maybe a little Batman. Arkham City. A little bit like that. Um, maybe a little Ghost of Tsushima. Just trying to give you guys like an idea of, of what we're going for a little bit. But we haven't come down to any sort. That's just me talking, right? Only I can tell movie deals. Only I can t only I can tell movie duels. Please contact if you can. GP channel. Hey man, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you mean movie duels like the game? Is that what you mean? Fantastic game, if that's what you mean. I love it. Don't worry, I'm not criticizing your theory. I was just poking fun. No, I know Charlie, but it's just like some people always say that stuff, and it's just I gotta set it straight sometimes, you know. Sometimes you brush things off so much that people will just think, oh, like, he's quiet about it. It's like, no, I just ignore it. Am I going to play the sequel trilogy part of the game? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to play the game all the way through. I'm not just going to stop. More bat theory tonight. Yeah, we're doing that tonight. Okay, guys, uh, I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the, the new trailer that we got for LEGO Star Wars. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm very, very excited. I'm going to be uh, splitting streams of this game on the main channel here and also the gaming channel. So please, please, please uh, do check out that channel. I've linked it down below. I post lots of extra stuff on there like that you wouldn't get on this channel just because it's a lot more free flow. I'm not so, uh, what's the word, anal about it. You know, about what I post. Everything's got to be like structured. and I'm just, yeah. So it's just, it's pretty chill over there. Anyways, love you guys. Hope you're excited for it. Catch you in the next video uh, tomorrow. See you later.